good, oh, good morning. I was about to say good morning. Good morning. Uh, no, Jamie, it is not good morning. It is like five o'clock at night. Hi. My voice is shot. Um, hello, my lovely friends. Yes, I'm chewing gum. I know some of you hate it. I'm sorry. Hi, Emily. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I just took a shower. Um, and got dressed. And my hair looks amazing. Oh my goodness, thank you. I didn't even do anything. Um, hello everyone, hello. So I have to tell you guys the coolest thing really quick. Um, so let me tell you a little secret first. The first little secret I have to tell you is that at what I know at 44 is we absolutely can not do the things we could do in our 30 without, without feeling it the next day. What do I mean by that? I mean, even certain exercises we did at our 30s, when you do it in your 40s, you feel it differently the next day. When you stay up late, talking to your best friend and catching up and having a drink and listening to Bruce till one in the morning, you cannot um, recover the way you used to the next day. If you don't eat well or hydrate properly, if you move your back differently or don't poop for two days, nothing feels the same in your 40s than it did in your 30s. And let me tell you that it happens like this. It used to be a time where you could literally exist on like Subway sandwiches and Slurpees from 7-Eleven. Um, now in your forties, your body's like, no, no, I need fiber or I'll just stop pooping. I literally won't poop for you. If you don't eat fiber, these are not things you have to think about when you're young. You just, you just walk around drinking mad dog 2020 and, you know, eating cheese whiz out of a can and you hit your forties and you literally have to think to yourself, mm, do I want to eat that cheese? Is it worth whatever like reaction of dairy, whatever, or, you know, whatever it's, it's so, and I know that everybody's saying, wait till you hit your fifties and I'm just not there yet. I can only speak from my experience, but like Sabrina, my love, um, but, you know, even people who have talents like singing or dancing or surfing or skiing, you know, people are like, oh my God, Mariah doesn't sound like she used to. Excuse me, Mariah still sounds better on her worst day than 99% of the population on their best day. And let's not forget that Mariah Carey is like middle-aged her voice, her thing is a, is a muscle. What muscle still works at 50 or whatever when it did at 23? None, zero muscles, not even a penis. Yeah, I said it, not even a penis, okay? So we're so quick to be like, oh my God, she can't sing like she used to. She can't run like she used to. She can't fuck like, uh, Oh, I was trying to get through this whole thing without cursing. And look, um, I stay up till, you know, I stay up late talking and visiting with friends. And I literally, I'm like the next day, I'm like, do I have COVID? I have COVID. I got hit by a truck. I have COVID. I don't have COVID, but 
Um, what's going on with me? My voice is shot. Um, I feel like crap. Like I'm dragging ass. Like blah, blah, blah. Um, and the truth is, I just can't do what I used to do. Period. And so my secret to you is, you still have the same desire to do the things at 40 that you did in your 30s or your 20s. You still have the same desire. You still want to hang out with your girlfriends and drink champagne till 2 in the morning. You still want to, you know, try to do that, like, pump up the jam, uh, you know, work out. You still want to, like, schlep the laundry basket up and hold it with your hip while you open the basement door. Now you throw out your hip. Now your hip hurts for two days because you lean the laundry basket on it and you had to open the door. You stay up late, your voice goes, the whole thing. You still want to do all those things, but I'm just here to tell you that it absolutely, um, you, you, you can, but you're going to feel it. You're going to pay for it. This is it. You're going to pay for it. I'm just here to let you know. I'm just here to tell you. Um, Lee Robertson, I got my, when I did not have any reaction to my second shot and my friends got their shots and they did not have any reaction. I know some people do, but I am going to cover you in sunshine and cover you in healthy vibes and know that you are gonna be completely protected and feel great. While I feel like I am 44 and, you know, I'm dragging my whole ass. And that's just the truth. So I just wanted to share with you guys that your desire to do things will not diminish as you get older sure like um you know some things you're not going to want to do all right but um and let me tell you what's never a good idea don't as in do not have sex in a pool ladies do not the chlorine water is not good for your vagina and they make it look sexy in a in a in a, a movie but it is not it is not sexy. It hurts your vagina and it washes away your natural lubrication and chlorine is not good for you. Do not do it. So even if you feel it, um, oh, my friends are here. Um, okay, I have to go, my friends are here. But I love you guys so much and I'm still wearing a mask. Why you say? Because I want to. And that's why. Um, I still wear my seatbelt. I still wear condoms, just kidding. I don't make Michael wear a condom, just joking. Um, but I love you guys, and I'm taking my Coffee Talk mask. But your interest will change, correct, but not your desire. Um, and I love you guys so much. Oh shit, I left the window open to my shower. Um, but yeah, PSA, do not have sex in a, in a pool. Someone's like, oh, it's so sexy. No, it isn't. It is not sexy. It is the opposite of sexy. Don't do it. Okay? I love you. And, um, oh my God, really quick, I have one more thing to tell you. I'm in New Jersey, and Ann Wilson from Heart is in New Jersey. And Ann Wilson is performing tomorrow night at the City Winery in New Jersey. I think it's called City Winery or Town Winery. I don't know. Mary knows. Anyway, Ann Wilson invited me to come to her show. So me and Ann Wilson from Heart are besties. And I'm gonna go, okay? I'm not gonna drink, but I am gonna go and I'm gonna sing and I'm gonna do the thing and I'm so excited. So tomorrow night I'm going to see Ann Wilson and we're besties. Okay, I love you guys so much. Have a great, great night.